some noise because this is going to be madness. Singapore, you better get ready. Oh, yeah. Hello and welcome to Metro BMX Jam 2007. We are in Singapore. I'm Greg Chard alongside the legendary Jay Miron. Jay, this is your competition. We're overseas. What are your thoughts? Totally psyched, man. Metro Jam, first time outside of Canada. It's going to be hot. Well, for a lot of people at home, they might not be too familiar with what a Metro Jam is. So we took that question and we put it to some of the riders competing. Take a look at this. Most street runs are 60 seconds, and that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're doing a 60 second run, it wears you out. And you drop in and your first 30 seconds are explosive, but the last 30 seconds you're kind of dying off because you're getting tired. And you normally don't do the things that you want to do. But with jam format, you can just kind of go whenever you want, ride whatever ramps you want to ride, and you know, as long as you put together, you'll probably do well. Yeah, Metro, make some noise! Which makes it great for the crowd as well, because every time a rider drops in, you know, they're giving it all right to the go, then you're never really slowing down or getting tired. You have multiple chances, you have, say, say you got four runs, and, and, they're, and they're just go out there, have fun, and just switch it up, take a little bit more risk, and then you're watching the other guys in the group and it's back to back to back, and it's just, it's, it's pretty high energy. For the riders, if other riders in your group are doing well, you're more likely to try harder and bigger stuff, and you can feed off of everyone else, and sometimes it just clicks, and it's awesome. Unreal! You don't seem to get punished as bad for crashing. With the runs, you crash, you're, you know, you're done. You're getting the low score, so you know that. But like, if you can kind of, you know, pull yourself together and pull that trick again and keep it going, you know, it's it's definitely a bonus. You're not freaking out over little things like, well, I might not want to push it so hard here because I might mess up and that'll cost me, you know, ten spots. Where you can be like. Hey, I'm gonna go for it, and I know I've got a few tries if I want them. I go out there and ride and have a good time. And if you're having a good time, then you know, nine times out of ten, you'll do the stuff that you want to do. Top riders in the world are here, and it's like them doing their dream tricks. It's not a bad thing to watch. <laughs> All right, this is it. You asked for it. That is unbelievable. I don't believe that got done. 